Well, good. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about one of the fiction texts, and uh, it's the last one as part to section one is concerned. And this is Chinese Cinderella by Adeline Yen Ma. And we're going to directly be focused on exam style. Question What kind of an exam style question are you expected? And of course, sample responses. Good. Uh, this is how one would look like. After successfully reading the text, that is after you've read it uh, comprehensively and you've done your own uh, short listing and highlightings, this is what you're expected. How does the writer bring out her thoughts and feelings for her father? You should refer closely to the passage to support your answer. You may include brief quotations. This is a response. The writer slips into the present tense to emphasize the immediacy and strength of her worry about meeting her father. The use of rhetorical questions increases the sense of anxiety. Use of repetition indicates impatience or vigor. That is in line 51. Triple rhetorical questions, all written in the present tense all emphasizing the writer's confusion and disbelief. The writer is differential to her father and dismissive of her own talents as a mark of respect. You can find that on line 63-65. Use of cliché indicates perhaps unwittingly the youthful expression of the writer. Reach for the stars, now or never. Use of numbers rather than names which suggests a distant approach towards all of his children by the father and, I quote, third brother. Her first reaction to hearing her father wants to see her is to be overwhelmed, which is a strong indicator of the distance between them. She refers to her father's rooms as holy of holies, suggesting somewhere at once uniquely special, a place to be referred, an inner sanctum to which few, if any, are admitted. She knocks timidly, indicating her trepidation. Uh, the father is commanding rather than warning or welcoming or even loving, as indicated by the repetition in sit down, sit down. Now, he is reasoning and also recognizes the effect that that is the girl. She is reasoning and also recognizes the effect that she has on her father. Don't look so scared. The family and her father are proud of her, which comes as a surprise to the writer, suggesting a lack of understanding on her part. Her father is in a bathrobe and slippers, suggesting perhaps her uh, perceptions and reality are not one and the same. Her suspicion that her father is indicative of a lack of warmth and trust between them. Clearly, she is desperate to please her father, and her reaction to his pleasure is overwhelming. My whole being vibrated with all the joy in the world. Her timidity is emphasized by the fact to ask him, which is considered as a bold step. Despite being refused the opportunity and being told what her future career will be, she is very grateful for them emphasizing her distant relationship with her father in whom she is desperate to please but also scared and worried of. 